So now the PR, RFQ quotation, and then uh, what happens? The PO invoice and receiving everything we are going to do on an existing one. Now. I have now logged in into the another instance now. I click on share instance. So I now logged in the another one. ET is the one I have logged in now. At a PRC 15, actually. So I have now logged in with the PRC 15 on the ET, actually. I now logged in. So let me go there and then make a check whether everything is okay. Now. Right? Putting controls. Again. So I have now logged in on the PRC 15, actually. So what I'm going to do is I will now go on and create, straight away create a requisition. So here, what happens? I will now go to the procurement. I will now create a purchase requisition, actually. So again, what happens? The requisition is not available. I will now go to the shop. Shop is available here. Now if I click on the shop. I now set up the preferences and then do it. Okay. I have now set up the preferences straight away. <clears throat> so I am now going to work on the vision itself. I know. So go to the more task and then update requisition preferences. We now have a look at it. Now, whether everything is okay or not. It's okay. PRC 15 internal. Delivered location Seattle. Seattle is a delivered location now. So you know, use the Seattle. And then it is going to be an inventory now. When you click on the inventory, <coughs> sub inventory stores actually. Find the no, STO. And then give it a tab of stores and sub inventory. So uh, in the stores, sub inventory, it's all okay. No, so everything is okay. US business one is also there. Find click on everything is there. When you click on what happens? Save and close now. We will now create a requisition for an existing item. We will now create a requisition for an existing item. A is 65000 is the one. Then go to the code and then go to the enter requisition line. We are going to create a requisition for an existing line. Go there. It is what? It is A is 65000. So I want to choose the first one. Thank you. So once when you put it, what happens? You have to get the charge account at the bottom actually. If nobody has fiddled around, it'll be coming. I will now go for 10 quantities, now find 10 quantities. And then go there. So price is what? I will now say 100 now. 100 is the price. from the, you know, the charge account is coming. So nobody has fiddled around. In the previous case, what happened? The charge account is not coming. So somebody has modified everything. Now. So I will now add it. For 10 quantities at a price of 100, what happens? I am going to do it now. So click on add to cart. And then I will now right click on the way. Yeah, tell me. Any questions? Yeah, Nanasha, this negotiation required flag. Right. It, has, that is a different uh, one. it is just BPA, right? It no. is just BPA, right? No, negotiation no. required is a different one now. It is not a BPA or anything like that now. So we have to negotiate the prices. It is on the purchasing area. Fine. This is not your, your sourcing negotiation. Sourcing. Okay. It, is sourcing negotiation. it is on the purchasing area. This is touchless buying. Touchless buying. Touchless buying. Yeah. Fine. They are all in the, look in the normal purchasing one. It is not a mm -hmm. sourcing negotiation actually. So click on it and go there. I will now go to the what? Review it and go there. I will now see whether the, the approval is automatic or not when click on it. So 10 quantities at 100 prices, $100,000 is the one when click on it. If it is automatic, you will now submit for approval. <clears throat> Otherwise, we have to go on and set up. No coming, coming, coming. It's not slow actually. So now see. So go to, you will click on the manage approvals and then see. Now. I click on the manage approvals. If on the vision, nobody has touched it, what happens? It will be working poorly actually. <clears throat> Go there. Manage the so go there. So it is the application developer only. If I click on submit, by which what happens? Uh, this is a 204174 will be submitted for approval. I will now open a pad, notepad. No, you see, no submitted for approval. No, say again, notepad. No click on it. Right? So the number is what? The PR number is what? 204174. One seven four. The PR number. So go there. So it is now submit for approval. Now what happens? We'll now go to the purchasing area and then we will now convert it into an RFQ actually. We'll now go there, click on it. So it is now pending approval, it will be getting approved shortly. Two zero four one zero four. So I'll now go to the procurement and then I go to the purchase orders and then I will now go to the process requisition and then convert it into an RFQ actually. Click on it, we'll go there. I will now go to the process requisition and then query for this purchase requisition. So he don't have any PO, a BO access now. Fine, we'll now make him as a procurement agent. Now, fine, we'll now go on and make him as a procurement agent. Fine, we'll so click on the setup and maintenance. Oracle is now creating the, all the PRCs. They should have made everybody as a procurement agent. Now, fine, come on here. No mistakes actually. 
manage person is fine. Procurement, then what happens? The agent. You go to the manage procurement agent, you will know, not make the PRC 15 as a procurement agent, fine. click on plus, no fine. I won't do it. <laughs> so click on plus, and then what happens? The US one, business unit. US one, business unit. The agent is what? Student. Comma, PRC 15, no? comma space. I give a comma space and what is and then here it is the US one offering for that one and then go there and then give him full access to everything. Other other agents talk. It's all there. Okay. So click on save and close. Now what happens? You can very well access the thing. So click on done. <clears throat> now what do you go? You will now click on the home icon. He will know what go to the procurement and then go to the purchase orders. Now he can very well see. Now he will be able to see. He is now having an access. He will not go to the process requisition straight away. He will go to the process requisition. So he has an access to his own business unit. Thank God, God. be having it. So go there. So he will not say is a US one business unit. The requisition number is what? He will not go there. 204 174. No. 204 174 is the one. And then there is no buyer mentioned on the requisition. And so you remove this column and then make a query. And then click on search, it will be coming. So it will be coming. So by this time, it may have got approved. It is now approved. And select it. And then here, what happens? I'm going to add to the document. So this time, I'm not going to add to a PO, but I will now add it here. What happens? A negotiation. Actually. Select it and then click on add to, add document, add to document builder. So this time, I will now go for a new negotiation. Actually. I will now go for a new negotiation. Actually. So it is not, not a new order, but it is a new negotiation. And new negotiation. I'm going to go back home. I'm not going to go for new. Here, what happens? It is not an RFQ. It is an RFQ actually. I will not choose RFQ and not auction. Fine. RFQ, I'm going to choose. So RFQ will have a lot of sales actually. If I go back to it, I will not choose a simple style actually. So I will not choose a simple style. Fine. Standard one, no. standard negotiation because we good. There are so many things that have been done now. Fine. Uh, it is not a two state fine. Go supply. Standard with abstract actually. I will not use this one. This looks to be somewhat okay now. Fine. Standard with abstract and all clinical or also my friend with the A A S is not there. So standard with abstract with that style. I'm using it now. Fine. Drop down. I will not choose the style. Ah, so many styles are available now. Large negotiation laptop. Everything is there. I will not use the computer components. I will not choose the computer components. That is the style. So here it is now coming as a blanket now. Fine. So I will not choose one for PO actually. <clears throat> It is not there, no fine. And the name itself will be having a PO match. So you will not see whether any name is coming as a PO now. Anywhere you are able to see a PO, then tell me. Can, can you search? No, no. So go to search. No, fine. Laptop, 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 so now what happens? It will be converted into a negotiation. No, fine. Click on OK. No, fine. The neg will be created actually. The negotiation will be created actually. It will not go to the negotiation form. No? The process requisition, what happens? It is not done. Then go there. So click on create now. Fine. Click on create. It will be creating it. Fine. Click on create. The right hand side, what happens? I click on create. It will be creating a neg. The new neg will be created actually. It will not go to the negotiation page straight away now. It will not go to the negotiation page straight <clears throat> So they have uh, standard requirements and all. We will not delete everything because our requirement is not that much actually. So it's okay now, fine. So 31796 is the RFQ number. No go there. So here, what happens? The RFQ number. Fine. So 31796 is the one. This is the RFQ number. 31796. No go there. It's okay now, fine. Click on it. I don't go to the OU page. I don't go to the OU page. I don't know. Everything is there. Fine. Title is what? I will not say. Uh, uh, PR PO test. I don't say PR uh, RFQ PO test. Fine. PR uh, RFQ fine PO test. There is, a, there is a name I'm giving it now. I take of it. And then click on the synopsis. No fine. Go on. And then here, what I'm going to go there. I will not give when it is going to close. No fine. Click on it. I'm going to give a close date. Okay. It's okay. Fine. Well, everything is okay. It doesn't matter. And then here, what I'm going to go the terms. I'm not doing it. Collaboration team. Let me remove everybody. No. I'll not remove everybody. Is it what happens? Rayon is there. And this is okay. This is my own. I will not click on it. So I am having a full access. And then uh, Christine Rayon, I am removing it now. I don't want it. Cheapo, I will not say. Select it. Click on X. Click on X. So only I am there now. Well, everything is there. Fine. Everything is there. And go to the requirement. I will not remove all the requirements. Not Nothing is there actually. Record nothing is there. And go to the lines. 
the lines what happens the line will be coming automatically yes and then you know you got one more thing now fine i will not remove that line so click on it the system has add, automatically added from the template actually i got i will not delete it oh god the delete is not coming now <laughs> no the delivery date delivery date problem oh the delivery has a delivery date no so i will not say many just today but fine go on so the delivery date is not coming up and you want i will say 29th the delivery so i will not choose the second line and then i will not delete this is not required now it is not complete actually there are no composite way so my line is ready now fine go the line is ready i will not go to the supplies i will not remove all of the supplies now fine all that there are there will be so many how much more supplies are there i will not select it and then with a the shift i will not select everything and go there i will not deshive it out and go there click on plus now i will not put only one message so the t50 is the supplier you will be supply so i will not use t supply because what happens i have to make a payment also so what i will do is i will not use the abc consulting because t is there in the other other instance actually other instance right yeah yeah it is there in the other instance it is not in this instance now okay so abc consulting is there what is this x minus not eligible for sourcing oh god he is not eligible for sourcing at all <laughs> Oh God, delivery! But you have to make him eligible for sourcing also. I don't know how to do that actually. How to make a supplier eligible for sourcing now? And ABC consultant. Yes, so Nana, in supplier there is a sourcing enable flag supplier site. Yeah. The supplier site, ah. Huh? RFQ or bidding that checkbox need to submit. No, and the supplier is not eligible for sourcing. That's what I think. Now, man, spend author is just there. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, okay. At the address level. Address level, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Same address level. I'll now right click and then duplicate. Now, fine. Right click and then duplicate. Mm -hmm. I'll not go there. I'll not go to the managed suppliers and then have all over there. Okay. I'll go to the procurement and then I go to the suppliers. No, I'm not putting for the ABC consulting. <clears throat> Click on it. And then I go to the managed suppliers. I'll not put for the ABC consulting. Okay. ABC. And then I click on search. No, I click on search. It'll be coming. Oh, God, the IA account is also a new one. Second one is there. Thank you. I'm not going to edit. Thank you. I'm not clicking on edit now, and then go to the address directly. ABC consulting is the one. Oh God, still working. I will not go to the what address. Address, there are so many addresses. US one is the address actually. I will not go to the sites now. I click on the sites. US one is the site address. Only one now. So click on edit now. I can click on edit. I will not say or a few also. So here, what happens? Sir? A, a, the thing is, what if you go on and edit? You know how to do it? Go oh, there. Sourcing only. Fine. It is not for sourcing only. If you're purchasing, is automatically enabling it for sourcing also. If it is only for sourcing, then only you have to do it now. Otherwise, purchasing will not enable everything now. Fine. Oh God, this is not the place actually. Hmm. Then go there. So I will not delete this supply. Now, fine. Click on delete. I don't know where to make him enable. Don't click on. I'm not clicking on plus. Don't click on. There will be on Dell supply. Don't find D E L L. I won't go there. Don't click the Dell supply. Dell is working properly. Actually, that one. Which is better? It works well. So Dell is working properly. Okay, Dell is working. So this one, don't find that. So Dell Inc is the one. Find Dell U S one is the one. Find that. So Dell Inc is the supplier name. Find the orders. Find that one. I will not publish it directly. So before which, what happens? I will not go there. I will not. What happens? Disable the approvals actually. Click on it. I will not disable the approval so that what happens? It will be getting approved automatically. Go there. This is not the one. E tick. Go there. So I will not go there. Click on it. I will not disable the approval actually. So go to the setup and maintenance. So now I will not disable the approval actually. So click on it. And then go to the search. Now find. I will not go to what? Configure. Find. Procurement business function. Configure procurement business function. Now find. Click on it. Click on the underline of it all. Then drop it down. You got US one. US one is the one. Find. Click on it. So we are not configuring it for the procurement business function. We are configuring it. So here, what happens? I will not say what uh, the one. What happens? Enable award approval and then enable negotiation approval and approval get so that it will be getting published immediately. Actually. So these two are disabled. Right? I will not say display display. But you know that right? uh, uh, these two are disabled actually. This one also can be removed. Sir. Which one, Jim? Invite only sourcing eligible suppliers. Ah, invite only sourcing eligible suppliers. Okay. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> will not allow. All. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so click on it, and then what happens? You go there, click on save and close. Now what happens? Not done. No fine. So click on the ABC. So click on what the supplier is not done. No fine. I will not go to the this one. 
So let us not try to publish it. We will not say 31796 is now getting published. Or not. So give a save. Now I click on save. So it is now saved actually. And then click on publish. If I click on publish, now see whether any problem is there or not. Otherwise, it will not get scrutiny published actually. <clears throat> So go there. You know what happens? It is now submitted. We'll know what happens. Reset the password for the supplier actually. No go there. So we'll now have to reset the password. Dead link actually. And go there. You want it? You will now go to the procurement and then we'll now reset the password. Go to the procurement and then I go to the suppliers. You have to reset the password. So go there. So click on it and then here you go to the manage suppliers. Dell, I will now query now. At least one of the following attributes. What is this here? So go there. Is it Dell? D E L L. And then I click on such a Dell Inc. is the one. Seven. So this is the one now, right? Click on the Seven. hyperlink of it now, right? Who is this? Whose mic is on now? Somebody's mic is on now. Okay. So this is the one now, right? I will know what happens. You go to the contacts and then I will now see the user ID now. Oh God, how to find out the user ID now? So what is the site name? Do you remember now? Or the contact person's name? The what happens? They go there. Uh, ABC US one fine is what ET no fine. Uh, this is not the one actually. ABC consulting is not working actually. So here we had the process requisition no fine. Click on the now. Do you remember uh, Dell US one? No fine. That is what no fine. If you go to the what happens? Go to the supply link. Dell US one now. Uh, how to find out the what happens? The contact person. No? And go to the query mode now. Fine, it is the US one. US, US. And then click on search now. You have to find out the contact person actually. So you go to the sites now. Fine, click on the sites. <laughs> Dell US one now. This is the site now. So click on the site now. Fine, Dell US one is the site actually. So this site is having which address we will not see. Now, fine, go there. This site is not having which address. So go there, click on it. This site is not having which address. This is the address actually. So in this address, we will now see who is sitting now. Find the employee name we have to find out. Right? On. Don't take a copy of it. So this is the site address now. I click on it. And then we'll now go to the contacts and then what happens? We'll now go to the address and then see the contact. Right? Go to the address and then query for this address. Now go to the query mode. I will now what happens? I put it now. I click on it. We'll now paste this and then find out. So this is the address find out. not coming. This is the biggest problem with the vision actually. Because there will be so much of a data actually. And then you have to work, work, work and all. So delete and then enter now. So 2300 now. Okay, you have to see in the address area, not on this place, not address name. So 2300 now. That is what this is the one now. Fine. This is one. So this may be the one now. Fine. 2300. So we okay. so will now see whether this is the one or not. Fine. We will now paste it and then see now. Fine. Now paste now. It is Williamson. It is ending in Williamson. Now. Fine. It is ending in Williamson. Uh, this one we will now see. Now. Fine. Is it ending in Williamson, which is not ending in Williamson actually. <laughs> it's not ending in Williamson actually. Yeah, no, no, one is there. Yeah, uh, where is it? Just, just above that. Uh, Williamson yeah, Kingdom is there. Man, Australia, Australia, fine. Go there, go there. Go down, no, no. Yeah, fourth, fourth from the bottom. Fourth from the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. So Dell Supremo US now. Fine, click on it. So this is the address name now. Fine, click on the address name. So Dell Williamson, I will not click on it. In this address, we will not see who is the contact sitting on this one. I will not go there and then have a look at the contact. The address is available now. The address is available. So we will not see who is the contact. How to see the contact name on this one? Sites are there. Not the name. So address is available. And I will not put this address. On. Del, address name is what? Dell Supremo address. We will not go there. This is the address name. No. Del Supremo is the address name. How to find out the contact details of this address? Below there is a contact. Below there is a contact. Contact tab. The contact tab. Yeah, this is the one. Very correct. So go there. So we have one contact available now. Go there. We have contact. So we'll not take a contact name. Contact name. We don't have a contact. Contact is what? The last name come off first name. So here, what happens? You have to go and then query this one. You know, query it and then you will not see the address. Not, there is a contact available. You go to the manage suppliers, <clears throat> click on it. <laughs> go there. So here I will not click on it. I will not go to the contacts and then query the contact. Go to the contact. And then here I will not query on the contact name. And enter. No, see contact name. 
is now coming up and click on the hyperlink of it and then we'll now find out the username for the contact you know click on the contact name so go there we'll now find out the username so the username has to be reset now we'll now go the username of my username is what not a fine new orders not a username of my phone so take your copy with everything so i will now right click on the duplicate and then i will now reset the password for the user image so go there go to the tools now find go to the tools <clears throat> You know what the tools are like on the course. In reality, you see how difficult it is not fine. <laughs> go there, go to the security console now. When you have so many things available now, fine. Go to the security console. One of my students told me she is now finding it very, very difficult. Nana, you are told in the class very easily, but it is not so easy that <laughs> click on it. So uh, what I'm saying, the name is what? Nate dot Tom's not fine. I don't know. Take a copy of the username. Okay? Username is not exactly what I'm trying to put. I'm not putting username. So we have to put the exactly what I'm Username is there. I will not reset the password for it. Uh, go there. I will not reset the password. <clears throat> Welcome on to the. So click on this password. Now, this guy would have got a notification on this one. Welcome on to three. Welcome on to three. So click on reset password. So we are not reserving the password. Oh, it's so not going. Two, three, at the rate. I mean, sometimes what happens is it will be asking for extra characters. Okay? One special characters it will be asking. I will not put on at the rate also. I will not give a tab. So I will not give an at the rate also. Welcome on to three. So click on. Now what happens? I will now log in with this. Okay? Click on it. I'm not going to log in with this username and password. So I will now open up the Edge browser and then log in. If I click on the Edge browser, I will now paste it over here. If I click on enter, you're going to log in. So what are the username? I'll now go there and then take a copy of the username. And the username is what exactly like this. I will now take a copy of it. I will now paste it on this. And then the password is what? Welcome on to three at the rate actually. It needs sometimes what happens, the special character is required to comply. So once when you sign in, he will be able to see the supplier portal actually. So go back to one. Then click on the home icon. <clears throat> so got it. Okay. I'll now go to the supplier portal. And then go to the supplier portal. And then here you'll now view the active negotiations. You know what happens to go there. You will know what happens. Negotiations will not go to the view negotiation. So this negotiation would have come to him now. Thank you. And again, a redwood shows one now. When you click on the open to that what happens in between now. It is a seven nine six nine. Okay, three one seven nine six seven five two hundred. I will not click on it. So you're not getting it. Three one nine six one. What? Now go over there. So now what happens? He is going to give a response actually. So click on create response. We are not creating a response. Click on the create response. We are not creating a response. This is a good exercise, no? <laughs> going here and there and then doing everything. You know? So click on it, click on OK. No? You go to the lines, you know? click on the lines. And then here, you're not going to give a response. I will not keep the same 100 price only. Okay. So response price is also 100. You will know, select and then see whether any uh, cost factors or attributes are there. No? Click on it. You'll see whether any cost factors are there. So there are no cost factors and attributes. So it's OK, man. Click on save and close. Nothing else. There are so many other things that you can even experiment on those attachments. That is, so is what is right. So go there. So he has now given this one, and then he will now submit it. So his response is what he is now given a quote actually. And click on submit. Seven three one three one of the one. Thank you. Submit now. Now he is now submitting the response. So now the negotiator will now receive this quote actually. So the person is submitted. We will now go to the negotiator's login. Now thank you. Now go there. Now go on there. So click on the home icon. <clears throat> I will now click on the home icon. I will now go to the procurement. I will now go to the procurement now. Go to the procurement. <clears throat> ah, I go to the procurement. And then here, what happens? You go there. And then this place, what happens? I will now go to the negotiation and then query my negotiation. I click on the manage negotiations. I will now click on the manage negotiations. You will not take up the number. My negotiation number is what? Uh, Rick, I mean, 31796. So go there. So I will now say 31, what is that? 31796. Right. 796 is the one thing go there and then go there. Remove the owners and all and then make a section. 
and then click on the hyperlink of it and then you would have got an import link. Scoring is mand not mandatory actually, so you can even bypass it. Then go to the actions and then go to analyze and then view response history will not have anybody. So you would have got a response back now. So whether we got a response actually. And then what are you going to do? Fine, click on done, fine. You are now given a prize actually. Now go there. So go to actions and then here what about the analyze and then award the negotiation actually. So go there. We have to close it first of all. You know, go to the manage and then you now close this negotiation fine. So it is now in the posted, now fine, click on it. It is now say closed. We are now going to close it, now fine, click on it. So we are now closing it immediately actually. So once it is closed, it'll, all the inviting participants, supplies will be made even by email actually. Click on it. Now, now click on done, now fine, go there. Right. And then here what happens, they go there. And then click on the search again. It is not active, it is not closed. Now, click on it. now it will not award it. Now go to the award. Now, now award it. So we got the prize, and then you may have some from multiple people, you might have got it. Now, fine, go to the actions, and then go to the award, and then award the negotiation. We are going to award it actually. So you're the only supplier, and then you will not award it. And if there are multiple suppliers, we will now have a comparison basically. So you're the only supplier. Also, now, fine, so select it, now fine, click on it. Select it, and then here, what happens? You go to award. Fine, click on award. And then we will now award the entire quantity on this now and supplier. Go like one. Go down. So we will now select that what happens the dead link. This is the only supplier available now. Go that one. I will now save and close. The award is not done now. Click on. So click on save and close. The award is getting done. <clears throat> so it is now awarded. So it's not done. So award is in progress actually. It's not coming. Submit for approval. So again, what happens? We don't have any uh, approval has been bypassed actually. If we submit for approval, it will be getting approved automatically. We'll again, check now. We are submitted now. Click on submit for approval. So, award will be bypassed actually. 31796 will not go to the award decision for submitted for approval now. So, it has to get approved actually. Click on so, we already removed the tick mark there now. So, click on search now. So, it's now closed. And then award approval is in progress actually. What is in progress? So, it has to get approved. You should not even go for approval at all because I have already removed the approvals now. Award approval. And state is award approved now. Now see, the state is award approval in progress actually. It will say award approval in progress actually. Click on it now. So click on search now. Click on search. Award approval in progress. Maybe the auto approval is there, sir? No, we have removed the approvals now. Fine. We go there. We already removed the approval. Fine. Click on it. We will go to what? Set up and maintenance. And then I already removed the approval. Now again, make a check now. Fine. Click on it. So click on search now. Fine. Click on search. And then I will say manage. Now is the configure. Right. Configure. Fine. Uh, procurement, PROC, -P procurement business function. In the configure procurement business function, I have already bypassed the approval for the award. The US one now. US one is the one. Right. Click on it. Okay. US one is the one. Go ahead. So here, what happens? Uh, enable negotiation approval and then enable approval. Both the things are removed actually. So if they're removed, then what happens? It will never go. The award will never go for approval at all. In the place, right? If you go on and search, it has to be approved. Right. Click on it. Click on search now. Click on search. Award approved. You got approved. So it's now award approved. Click on it. And then award is approved. Fine. It's automatic. Award is basically bypassed actually. Go to actions and then go to award and then what happens? Award negotiation. Or complete the award. Now we have to complete the award. Fine. Click on the complete award. We are going to complete it. So click on complete. And then create a PO and then notify all suppliers also. Fine. Click on it. The PO will be created. In the meantime, what happens? We'll now go there and then have a look at it whether the approval for the PO is no proper or not. Fine. Click on it. Now go there. I will not check the approvals for this. No, I will cancel. No, <clears throat> I will not check the approval. And I will not say manage document approvals. Manage percentage. Doc percentage. Man, APP percentage. I will not say whether the approval is automatic or not. Manage document approval. Man, I will not say whether the approval is automatic or not. <clears throat> so here, when serial is not done, man, I will not disable it. Man, I will not. I normally use the serial 3 actually. I will not go there. I will not enable it. I will not make an automatic approval. I click on it now. I will not make an automatic approval. So click on plus no fine. I will now make an automatic approval. It is auto approval. Fine, go there. And then make a change. No fine. Take a copy of it and then put the description. No fine, go there. And then uh, rule always applies. Fine, click on fine. I will now enable the auto. So click on add action. I will now make it automatic. Go there. I will now make it automatic. So click on. So this is an automatic approval. Fine, click on save and then deploy. It is now done. Click on this. So it is now what happens? Automatic approval. So the automatic approval is now enabled actually. Oh, that is not done. It's not deployed actually. So this is the one now. We'll now go to the create purchase order. Fine. The award for negotiation is now complete. The award recommendations was automatically allocated to the requisition demand actually. You understand. Now I will now initiate the approval and then what happens? I will now what happens? Go there and then submit it. Upon submitting it, the PO document will be created. Award is completed. So it is now against mapped against the demand actually. The demand is now mapped actually. 
I click on submit, I which what happens, sir? It will be submitted for approval also. Yes, say this award completed. Now PO created will be coming up. I click on submitted. Award is completed. Now the status will not change to what PO created actually. Initiate the approval also because now approval has been made as automatic actually. So click on it and then we are submitting it. The PO will be created actually. So we are now creating the PO now. And then since the approval is automatic, go there. so one purchase document is now created. Go there. So US 164, uh, 164, 986. Fine. We'll now see the PO number. Now. Go there. Is the PO number is what? US, I'll uh, say, whatever. 164, uh, 164, and then what is that? 986. 986. Now. The one, the one, the one, the one. So if you click on done now, fine. Completed purchase document. Now, fine. This is what is now. Click on done now, fine. Remember, go there and see. Completed purchasing document. If you want to search now, fine. Award approved. And then completed purchasing document. Actually. Purchasing document no credit. Now we'll now go to the PO system and then have a look at it. So uh, 31796 is now completed. Now we'll now go to the PO system. Fine. Click on the home icon. And then go to the procurement and then go to the purchase orders. I will now go to the manage orders and then have a look at it. Now we'll we'll go to the manage orders. You go to the manage orders and then query the order. So order number is what? This is the order number. I'll now take a copy of the order number. Now. <coughs> go there. I will now query on the order number. And then remove the buyer name now fine, because buyer may be different now. Fine. So click on search. <coughs> You know, searching for it. You know, so it has to be in an open position. So it's now pending approval. If you click on the hyperlink of it, it is now automatic actually. It has to show me as what automatic. And it is not a divine file. They're not taking some time actually. Even though what happens in this place, we are now given what the deployment also is done. It is now enabled also. And then click on search. Okay. And then click on the search. It is now open actually. It is not done. So now PO is done. And now right click and then duplicate. Right click and duplicate. We are now going to make a reserve now. You will now go to the inventory and then receive it now. Enter now. We'll now go to the supply chain and then we'll now receive it. Supply chain execution, then inventory management, and then we'll now receive it actually. So click on the home icon at the top now. So click on the home icon. And then here, what happens? We'll now go to the supply chain execution. We'll now go to the supply chain execution. And then I will now go to the inventory management. Not new. Fine, this one. This is for the Redwood shows actually. Fine, Redwood uh, uh, initiative actually. So click on the old one and click on the inventory management. From 25A onwards, everything, this is only will be going to remain now. <laughs> you must get accustomed to this now actually. So many places they say it's a cosmetic change, but somewhere the functional changes also may be there. Now, I'm not very sure about how it's going to come. I click on it. I'll go there. So click on it. I will now drop down and then go to the reserves. Now, I click on the reserves, and then I will now change the organization to 001. Now, I click on it. receive expected shipments on the 001. Now, I go there. So this one. Now, so inventory organization is all now. Fine. So that means what? He is not having an access actually. So access is missing, and so what happens? We will now give the uh, what happens? The inventory role. Now, click on it. The inventory role is not there. Fine. So we'll not give it. So uh, what are the uh, all uh, role now? Click on it. So go there, click on it. <clears throat> so we have to have this role now. Fine. If we give this role, then it will be coming. Anybody remembering what is the role name? Warehouse, huh? warehouse manager, you can be so warehouse manager. No, 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 no. For all the uh, inventory activities, for all the inventory activities, we will have a role now. Fine. I will not go to this place. I will not go to the fourth one. The 58th document will not tell you all the roles. Actually. So the 58th document. Fine. Vision roles. Now. Fine. Double click on it. <clears throat> So now what happens uh, for inventory, what happens? Uh, OU is CFO. OM, yeah. OU is CFO. OU. If you give this, what happens? All the functionality of inventory will be available for the PRC 10 now. I will now go to the tools and then go to the security console now. Fine. PRC 15, I will now give the OU is CM role now. So go to the users now. Fine. Go to the users. I don't go there. It will give so all the inventory need, roles. It doesn't need any, what happens? Uh, any data access at all. My data access is okay. inbuilt on this now. Fine. Click on For the vision organizations, the data access is inbuilt. I go there. Click on edit <clears throat> and then click on add now. No, give this role. O E C M role. So the data access for all the orgs are inbuilt. Now I click on OK and click on done. It's not done. So click on save and close now. So we are given it now. It is now added. PRC all is the one. And then PRC all is for purchasing. I click on done. Afterwards, what happens? You go there. You click on the home and then what happens? You run the import user role right? to sync all the setups onto the transaction systems. Now I go to this place. Scheduling process. I have now run the import user role. I click on it. <coughs> import user role. I click on it. It is what import percentage. When user Percentage fine role percentage import user role fine give it have now. This will now sync all the setups on the security console into the transaction systems now. Fine, click on it, click on it. And then also run the LDAP. Also have a habit of running the LDAP also. The LDAP is also going to do similar work. In the field, it is not required because they are all inbuilt actually. So in the only in the training purposes, what happens? You need now. So click on it. You need not have to run these concurrents in the field actually, in the client location. So click on submit now. So it's not run. So go there, click on it. You know, running. So here for the 001 
that what happens your this thing is inbuilt actually so if you go there you can very well the, the organization will becoming automatically at 001 so go there so click on it log out and log in right? so sign out and sign in so you have to wait for some time also fine you have to confirm now i will not close all of the pages now i can connect no close all of the pages now no the pages can come close it now i'm purchasing document close it now go to the sign in i will not what happens if you have to do it so now what happens i will not go to the what supply chain execution now and there is a supply chain execution supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management and then i will not go to the reserves area you will not find 001 will be coming automatically here this and click on it i will not go there <clears throat> Click on it and then go to the receipts. No fine. Click on the receipts and then go to the receive expected shipments. You must be able to choose. No fine. The inventory organization is not choosable because this concurrent is still running. Actually, very wait for the concurrent. So go there. So the concurrent is still running. No fine. So we have to what happens? Wait for some time. No fine. Click on sign out and then wait for the concurrent to complete. Then what happens? We'll be having this access actually. So what I will do is I will not pass the record for some time. No. So let me. What happens? Sign in and then have a look at it. Click on sign in. I am not signing in. So the concurrent would have got completed. I waited for two minutes. Now I am going to click on it. I am not going to click on it. <clears throat> I will not go to the supply chain execution. Supply chain execution. And then I go to the inventory management. I go there. Inventory management is the one I go there. And then I go to the receipts. Okay. I am not going to the receipts. Click on it. If it is still not coming, I will not log in as a SCM. <laughs> We can go to the place. We will not go to the results now. Click on the results. Mm -hmm. Receive expected shipments. Ah, it's all coming. So zero zero one is coming now. And it works. So this has to come now. And so once with that, uh, what happens? Your uh, uh, import user role is complete. What happens? Uh, this uh, inventory facility is now available for you. You don't go there. You will not go to the purchase orders. Now, that point. You go to the purchase orders. I will not. What happens? You will not close this one. I will not go there. So what happens? You are missing. I will not open up the purchase order number. I will do that. So the P1 number, where exactly is it? There is the P1 number. I will take off it. I will not go there. I will not paste it. And then give it a tab. Now I click on search. I will not make a search. I will click on search. And then select it. And then I will not receive it. Now I click on it. Now I will receive the 10 quantities. Now I click on it. I will not complete the receipt naturally. <clears throat> so click on the show receipt quantity. It will be showing how much is expected from supplier. No 10 number. Click on create. So we are now creating a receipt number. So, uh, so it is directly into stores actually. It is a direct delivery. So it will be delivered to the, the, the inventory fine directly. If I click on the GRM number, I click on it. The GRM number gets created actually. The shipment number is what? 123. And then the packing slip number is what? 456. And then go there. And then number of packing units is 3. Try to give all the value addition here. Now. And then that will be very useful for that later. What happens? Go the Jinga Jaka. Give a proper information. So that what happens? The information all the way. And then the GRM number will be created actually. So now, what happens? We will now go to the payables and then create an invoice actually. So 52630 is a GRN number. Don't take away. Don't put on this place. No. It's a GRN number. It's a GRN number. No. And then what happens? We will now go there. We will now, what happens? Go to the payables and then we will now make a result. It's not delivered actually. No, no. I will now go there. Go to the home icon and then I will go to the payables. I will now go to the payables. So click on the payables. I'm going to go to the payables. There is the payables. So go to the payables. And then here, what happens? I'll now go to the invoice. And then it'll now create an invoice actually. So go to the invoice and click on it. I will now create an invoice. Click on the create invoice. And then I will now paste the PO number. And then what happens? I'm going to match it and then get the accrual. So fine. Accrual will be relieved by matching it. We'll now relieve the accrual by making a match up. So go there. I will now paste this number. Not this number actually. So it's the P1 number we have to paste. I will not take call the P1 number. Take over it. And then I will not paste on this number. I will not paste it. We will not have no number. So everything will be coming. A separate is will be coming. I will not make an invoice number. So invoice number is going to be 1000. Amount is also 1000. 1000 amount. I will not obtain the lines by matching it. I will not obtain the lines by matching it. 10 quantity is the one. Accrual is quantity based, remember. Accrual is quantity based. Select it, and then there's a 10 quantity. The purchase order set up the self billing, actually. Oh, God. That means what? Proceeding with the match may result in the overbill. Fine. So it is a self billing. Fine. Click on OK. I will not create it. I will not go there. It is a self billing. 
And so what happens is the cell building will not go on and query the invoice of the cell building. <clears throat> it is for cell building. So what I do is I will not go there, click on it. So I will not create an invoice actually. It is meant for cell building now. I go there. I will not go to the tools. <clears throat> I will not go to the tools now. I click on the tools. It is not meant for cell building. I will not go to the scheduled process. I will not go to the scheduled process. <clears throat> I will not run the concurrent called send pay now. So it is now meant for cell building. And so what happens? You go there. You should not create an invoice manually. Send pay is the one. So this will not push the data into the interface tables of payables. Send pay on to the It is now cell building bank. Go there. Click on it. Will not transaction source is what? It is evaluated receipt settlement. Fine, go there. It is okay. Fine, go there. Receipt number is what? Will not put the receipt number. And receipt number is what? The 52630 is the receipt number. The GR number. For the receipt number, we are going to do it. Fine, give it time. Aging period is zero. That means what? It will be creating any more is immediately. Fine, click on something. You are not creating it now. So this is receipt number. Fine, click on it. So since it is meant for cell building, we have to run the send pay. Now. Send pay will now push the data into the interface tables of payables. And then finally, it will be imported into the base tables also. No, no. So send pay will be importing the data into the base table also. Fine, click on it. So import order invoice will be running now afterwards. Fine. The import order invoice is running now. So once when it is completed, whatever you can now see the invoice available on the base tables of payables. So you should not match it if it is enabled for self building actually. So invoice, import invoice is not running. So you know, waiting for it to complete now. Is not completed actually. Fine for that. Now the report will be So if you view the report, it will not give you the invoice number also. It will not go the report. And then how about it? You can now very well see the invoice report. And then with the invoice report, we will not query it. And then what happens? We will not. What happens? They make a payment. Subtract. And then we can even completely monitor the P2P lifecycle actually. We can very well monitor the video. So it's not a perfect click on the report. No fine. Invoice pay invoice report. Import invoice pay invoice import payables invoice before fine. Go that one. In the bottom, what happens? You click on the republish. No fine. Click on the republish. And then you click on the start, and then you export to PDF. We are now exporting it a PDF. Click on it. And then we will now note on the invoice number. So it is the ERS invoice. And so what happens? It will be having an ERS and running number. So it will not take up. So this numbering is now taught in the financial training actually. How to number it? What happens? They will not teach you when you go there. No, I'm not go there. Fine. I'm not the invoice number. Mm -hmm. Invoice number is this. No, fine. Go there. Ah, why this is not coming? Ah, it is a space. No, no. so it's the invoice number. So, go there. so now what happens? I will not query this invoice number in my payables area, and then I will not make a payment. Take a no, go there. So no, go to space. Fine. Go there. Now, invoice number incoming fine that. So it has got no taxes because location based the taxes basically. So there is a, what happens 1095 is a tax. Effect. There is a tax. Effect. So 1095. So 1000 plus 1095 is the one. So 1095 is the total amount. Okay. 1095 is the total invoice amount, including taxes basically. So this is the one of fine that. So click on it. I will not hide uploading that also. I will not close it. And I will not close this also. <laughs> close this also. And then come over here now. I click on it. So here, what happens? I will not right click and then duplicate. I will not right click and duplicate. And then remove everything up to what happens? This thing, you know. And then go there. So we will not go there. I will not go to the payables area and then make a payment. No, fine, click on it. I will not click on it. I will not go to the payables. No, fine, click on it. I will not go to the payables. No, fine, click on it. I will not go to the payables. <sighs> payables, the one thing. I will not go to the payables. And then I will now query the invoice number. Fine, go to the invoices. And then let me query the invoice number. Go to go to the manage invoices. So you don't go to the manage invoices. And then you are going to make a payment for the invoice number. The invoice number is what? You paste it now. Fine, go we'll to consult. Is the ERS invoice? ER stands for evaluated receipt settlement. Right? You know, coming fine, select it. And then what happens? Click on edit now. Fine, click on edit. So here, what happens? It is not validated actually. Fine, select it and then click on it. You will not validate the invoice. So once when the validation is complete, what happens? You can make a payment. So invoice action will go there. I will not validate the invoice. It is not validated. I'm not going to validate it. So it will not check whether the amount, everything is okay or not. So 1095 line level is also 1095. So it is not matching actually. So what happens? It will not have any problem in getting validated actually. Mm -hmm. So it is not validated. You go there. And then what happens? I will not, what happens? Uh, <coughs> pay in full now. I'm going to make a payment pay in full. If you give a post to ledger, what happens? It will now be doing the accounting also. If you go to that page, what happens? If you click on the validated, it is not an accounted actually. 
validated but under contract so you what happens you go there go to the invoice section and then what happens if you post to ledger it will get accounted also click on the post ledger it will not get accounted also accounting also will be getting complete right post to ledger will be accounting it also so the accounting program will now run and then it will now account it also then we can we can is now payment is unpaid actually so the accounting has been completed click on okay now fine go there i will now close it and then again click on the validated now you can see it is now what happens validated and accounted so the payment is not done. So let us not make the payment. Now, click on it. I'll not go to the invoice. And then I will not pay in full now. Right? Click on pay in full. I'm going to make a payment. It's the vision one. So we have everything ready made now. Right? Go to the bank account. I will not say BOFA. BOFA is the account. Right? Bank of America, BOFA. And then the payment process profile, which will be done by the financial team actually. So I will not use the standard check format now. There is one standard check format. But I don't know where exactly this is. Normally click on search now. Right? There is one standard available now. Right? Because others may even give some issues. Now I'm not very sure about it. Standard check moment is not there at all. <clears throat> so click on cancel. I will not choose whatever is okay for me. Anybody has got any idea on this now? <clears throat> Manchester Bank, PayPal, SWIFT, and US Federal. <clears throat> I will not use one of my on this. The payment process process is not fine. I will not drop down. For this, what happens? The payment document must be available now. It is not there. Fine. That means what? This is not a correct one now. Federal PAM, ACH is not okay. I will not use answers. And then if we, whatever you choose, there must be a payment document created in the vision, actually. Right. If it is not there, it will not at all. Second one, you can check. No, no, uh, yeah. This payment one. process. Uh, on, the previous process. Oh, that also is not having. One second. No, drop it on. See, is there? So, yes, sir. Uh, Aerostar payment process profile has got a payment document number. This is the payment document number of my in some area. So only vision has got certain things for which whatever the payment document is created for certain profiles only. Thank you, Mr. Now it gets paid full now. It's not going to be paid. So 4037 is the payment number. No, don't go there. Don't say whatever the payment number is what. Don't go there. So the payment number is what. Payment number is 4037, isn't it? So the 4037 is not on the bank. not fully paid. So if you go to the invoice actions, then what happens? Invoice actions now go to click on validate. Now, what happens if not fully paid? Actually, payment payment is also paid. So, validate account and paid. And then we will now go on then re, uh, query the requisition now. Fine, go, go to the duplicate. And then every the PTP process is now fully complete. We will now go there and then see on the requisition area. Now. Mm -hmm. I will now go to what requisition. So, I will now go to the shop now. Fine, go to the show more. So, I have to be on the purchasing. Now, fine, go to the purchasing. Mm -hmm. I will now go to the procurement. So, the whole process is now completed. The procurement, whatever you cannot see everything on the shop area. So the whole thing because the requisition is the source of the entire BTP process. There you can see the whole life cycle actually. The whole life cycle can be seen by that. So we'll not go there. So this is the one now fine. 204174. Now fine. I will not click on the hyperlink of it. I will not click on the hyperlink of it and then see the what happens, the life cycle of this PR actually. I will not click on this one. I will not have a look at the life cycle of the PR. So click on the line life cycle. And click on the line cycle. It will not show everything. All the readings will show. So the requester has to know everything, how much has been received, how much has been invoiced, how much has been paid. Right? So that what happens, he, everybody is basically a service provider for the requester actually. So this is the negotiation number, no coming, all the negotiations coming. From there. So this is the shipment number, this is the receipt number, no? right? shipment number is not coming, receipt number is coming. So if you click on it, what happens, no comment. the invoice number is also coming. Right? If you click on the receipt number, I click on the receipt number. <clears throat> It will not show you even further details on this now. Fine, visit number and go there. What is the purchase order number? Everything is now done by everything is not shown. Click on the now. Uh, and then go there. And then what happens? You go there. And then you can now see the what happens? The, the invoice number. Invoice number will not show the payment history also. Fine, click on it. So the invoice total is there. Paid amount is also this much. Fine. Click on the hyperlink on the invoice number. And you can now see the payment also in this. <clears throat> invoice number, if you click on it, what happens? It's no saying. This is the invoice number and go there. So line region on the, the taxes are also coming now. Fine, each and every tax is also coming. And go that. So how much has been paid? Fine. Go to the payments. The go to the payments tab region. In the payments, it will not show you the check format on which what happens. This is the document number of the payment actually. And then the address what happens. Everything is electronic payment. Fine. Everything is not shown. So we can now monitor the complete activity of a PTP life cycle from the requisition itself. Is it all clear now? Fine. This completes a P2P life cycle. Using negotiation PR, RFQ, quote, and then PO, then receipt, invoice, and payment action. Is it clear now? <laughs> yeah, it's less than one hour. In, in less than one hour. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you are clear on this now? Can you put a green tick mark? The complete P2P life cycle via a negotiation action. 
great ashish sharma is very clear now great ishan jain is clear venkat is already clear i know that now hey viswa are you clear on this now sri kutan you are new to this now fine you are a crm man are you understanding it or you have to go through yes sir i can relate the things sir. <laughs> but uh, i have to like yeah, both uh, yeah, yeah. rajesh is understanding to practice the same then because Abhijit, uh, Joshi, uh, you the previous clear. trainings are also no, no, no. you have to practice for me abhijit joshi would have understood me veer raghavan yes, how about you is it clear or if you, you have to go through the video you can put a ghost low icon yes sir once again i will watch the video then only i practice sir <laughs> so with this we complete the sourcing training now training on sourcing is now getting completed so next week we are going to begin procurement contracts any doubts now okay sir no no so bye for now and then we will now meet on next saturday at 6 pm Okay, I hope okay, you are enjoying my training. What yeah. are you? What yeah. are you? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Sir. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for thank, thank, you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. 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 Thank you